Praise God. Turn to Genesis 38. I don't know if I done told you to turn there or not, but anyhow, if I didn't, there you go. Praise God. Genesis chapter 38. Praise God. Look at your neighbor and say, you're going to hear so much truth tonight, you've got to turn your neck to talk to them. Come on. Tell them, say, you're going to hear so much truth tonight. Amen. Tell them, say, you ought to go ahead and say amen on credit about five or ten times. So you make sure you won't get behind. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 38, beginning in verse 27, reading through verses 30. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 38, verse 27, and it came to pass in the time of her travail. Now this was Tamar, uh, her pregnancy here that this speaks of, and Judah happened to be the father thereof, and her, Judah was actually her father-in-law, so if you think your family's got troubles, had problems, hello somebody, I'm telling you, there's, there's all kind of family troubles in the scripture, but thank God for his mercy and grace, those that call out to him in repentance, he uses them, come on somebody, amen, praise the Lord God, amen, if you just look at the disciples' lives and see all the stuff they had going on, come on somebody, ain't you glad? Amen, glory to God, that God don't look at us and uh, qualify us by how well we've lived before we met him. Wow, we'd all be disqualified. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. It cleanses us from our sin. Amen. First John chapter 1, verse 7. So here it is. She's in travail. That means she's hurting. And the lady said, amen. She's, she's in travail, praise God, and she's pushing, she's pressing, she's bringing forth these babies that she probably thought up to this time was just a baby, just a big old baby, amen, praise God. They didn't have sonogram back then, so they just, hallelujah, my God, there's two in there, amen, they're figuring this thing out, amen, as, as they go along, and, and behold, twins, somebody say, behold, twins. Notice it didn't just say, see, Twins, it said, Behold, I mean, that's stretching your eyelids, right? My God, what a surprise! Hallelujah! Behold, twins were in her womb, verse 28, and it came to pass when she travailed or was in hard labor that the one put out his hand, and the midwife took and bound upon his hand a scarlet thread, saying, This came out first. You got to understand in this culture, the firstborn was to receive the blessing of his father above any other blessing. So they had to mark, so to speak. They, they, they had to make sure who the first one was going to The first one coming out had to be marked. So uh, the midwife, here she is, she just hurry up. And when she sees that first infant, that first baby stick his hand out of the womb, she just hurry up instead of delivering him and pulling him on out. She just takes her red thread and starts tying around his wrist. Make sure she marks the one that's coming out first. Hallelujah. Amen. But to her surprise, listen to what happened. Verse 29, and it came to pass as he drew back his hand that behold, his brother came out and she said, how has this broken forth? In other words, how in the world did this happen? This breach be upon thee. Therefore, his name was called Perez, Perez simply means breaking the breach. It's really the term where we get breakthrough from. Somebody say breakthrough. breakthrough. Perez is a generation of those people that know how to break through. Come on, somebody. Yeah. How many, look at your neighbor and say, you can break through or you can break down. It's up to you. Look at them and say, you can have faith in God or you can have a nervous breakdown. Sure, sure. Jesus answering, saying, have faith in God, Mark 11, verse 22. Somebody say that's the answer to all life's questions. You can trust God when you can't trace Him. Come on, somebody, and experience peace in God. Come on, glory to God. Amen. Or you can bite your nails and, amen, lose all your hair. Come on, somebody, and have a heart attack and leave this life before it was meant for you to leave this life, worrying about everything, or you can have faith in God. So that's what I mean. You can have faith in God or have a nervous breakdown. Perez, against name, means breakthrough, and he should have been the second born. But when he saw his brother snatch his hand back in, he's like, boy, if you don't want to get out of here, first I will. He had to climb over his brother's back somehow or swim under him or around him or something. Hey, man, but don't you know he had to hurt his brother a little bit, but he was like, hey, man, I'm getting out of here. Amen. Okay, verse 30, and afterward came out his brother 
that had the scarlet thread upon his hand, and his name was called Sarah. Zara, his name means shining red light. Now in our culture, in our day, the first thing I think of when I think of a shining red light, I think of a stoplight. Somebody say a red light. Red light. Amen. Even in our culture, it don't matter if it's yellow or green, we still call it a red light. Wife told me the other day, she said, Marvin, red light. I said, yeah, honey, it's green right now. That's why I'm still going. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But Sarah should have been the first one. They, they both couldn't come out of the womb at the same time. Right? Though they were twins. Even when twins are born, one of them has to be born before the other. Amen. Can't come out at the same time. Amen. So Sarah was the one. He stuck his hand out there. I can imagine old Sarah stuck his hand out of that womb room where it's been warm and comfortable. Everything's been easy for him. Everything's been given to him on a platter. Call somebody. Yeah. Or on a cable. <laughs> <laughs> to, to his name. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. It's just mama's done it all. Tamar's done it all. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so it's comfortable in here. And he thought, ooh. It, feel, it don't feel too good out there in that climate. And so he just like, I'd rather stay in here. But not, but not Perez. Perez, man, he starts busting out, coming out, thinking, brother, you can stay in here if you want to. It's time to be born. It's time to come out. It's time to go somewhere I've never been. Glory to God. So you can stop with your little red light if you want to, but I see a green light. I'm about to go out. I'm about to go all out. I'm about to get all of me out of here. Glory to God. He's what we refer to as birthing the breakthrough. Hallelujah. Because he says, I'm not staying here because it's time for me to move and go there. Somebody shouts, you can't go somewhere in God until you're willing to leave where you've been in God. The greatest enemy of seeing God move more in your life, I refer to as the enemy called enough. There's an enemy called enough. It's called being satisfied where you've been. But you can't go somewhere you've never been until you exit where you have been. Come on, somebody. Thank God for what he did. But God don't want us camping out around burning bushes of yesterday when he's moving today. Come on. Hallelujah. It's an insult to him. He wants us to move with him. Glory to God. And there's things, there's one thing I know about Holy Ghost. Amen. He said he's doing something. He wants us, according to 2 Corinthians 3 18, he said, Glory to God, from glory to glory, even by the Spirit of the Lord. You can't master the Master. You can't come to the end of Him who has no end. I don't care if you've been serving Him 35 years. There's parts of Him you don't even know yet. There's things He wants to do you ain't never seen Him do. So tonight, there's two kinds of people in here. There's just two kinds of people on earth. Especially in Christian. Come on. Hello? Come on. There's either some Zeras in here. Come on. With some red ribbon religion. Come on. <laughs> or there's some Perezes who thinks, thank God. For what I had last night. Thank God for what I've experienced yesterday. Thank God for what I've known up all these years until now. But I'm about to exit all that to go somewhere in Him I've never gone. So I'll say to all the Sarahs, you're about to be left behind. Because I'm coming out of here. I'm about to step into the place with God I've never gone before. And with that said, I dare you to tap your neighbor on the shoulder, on the leg. Glory to God somewhere and tell him, say, excuse me, I'm going somewhere. Somebody shout, no more, no more. red ribbon religion. 